Welcome back. Right, it's time to talk about bangers. Now, a couple of years ago, nobody was bothered about what happened to knackered old cars. But oh, how times have changed. Yeah, thanks to the government's scrappage scheme, every old banger now has the potential to be worth two grand if you trade it in against the cost of a brand new car. But is it actually worthwhile? Similar schemes have proved hugely popular in Europe recently. It jumpstarts new car sales for the economy and gets old, polluting cars off the road. If you've got a ten-year-old car, it sounds deeply tempting. In other words, if you've got a car that was registered before the 31st of August 1999, take it to a dealer's, they'll bring it down a place like here, right? But they'll also give you a whopping two grand of the cost of a brand new car. But there are some rules. Your banger has to be either taxed or officially declared off the road. It has to have an MOT, it has to be registered in your name, and you need to have owned the old nail for at least a year. Most manufacturers are taking part in the scheme, even Rolls-Royce, but it's the cheaper end of the market where that two grand scrappage discount results in the most attractive deals. The Hyundai i10, for example, is on sale for just 4995 with the scrappage discount. Now, before all this scrappage scheme malarkey got started, right, dealers were already offering massive discounts off the cost of their new cars. And I reckon that, frankly, that's still the case even if you haven't got a banger to chuck at them. So what I'm going to do today is go to the dealers and try and beat the scrappage price. Simple as that. But there's an issue. Obviously, I'm way too famous I'm going to get recognised. But don't worry. I've got it covered. Nah, it's still me, isn't it, right? How's about this? We're going to use our secret weapon, Gemma, to find out if she can do a better deal by ignoring the two grand scrappage trade-in altogether. Her Ford car is worth about £600 sold privately, so if she can negotiate a discount of more than £1,400 off a new Hyundai i10, she's up on the deal. Get in there, go in hard, just do the whole, hello mate, I've been offered a deal by another dealer, can you please give me that car, £1,400 off the asking price? Say so I'm going to pay hard. cash. Yeah, just do the whole cash thing. All uh, right. After 20 minutes, our Gemma returned from the dealer. Had she got anywhere close to the £1,400? Come on, how much you got off? Two grand, did you match it? I got £200 off. So you went in there, flirted with him? Yes, definitely. Did all that stuff and you only got 200 quid? Yeah. You're rubbish. So, based on that, trying to negotiate money off a new car may not be of much benefit. And if the market value of your banger is less than two grand, you'd be better off going with the scrappage scheme. Now, the government puts forward £1,000 towards a scrappage discount, and the dealer, on the other hand, is supposed to match that at least. But what I want to know is, can I persuade these dealers to increase the size of that grand and offer me even more discounts? My starting point, as ever, is the internet, which is awash with info on the latest scrappage deals. I'm going to kick off by seeing if Skoda can offer me anything above the basic £2,000 saving. I'd like you to discount the Octavia S uh, by three grand and uh, I'll buy the car walk away. We couldn't do that. At the, at the present moment, Skoda are offering two and a half thousand pounds off any Skoda model. Oh, come on. 2,800. Um, no, two five is our best offer. Not bad, an extra 500 quid off is better than nothing, but then I clocked an even better offer. Just looking on the Ford website here, now it says save up to five grand when you buy a new Ford. I'm just wondering though if I can actually beat that. I'm thinking about getting something like a Mondeo. You know, if I drive in there in an old banger and say I want to get my money off. We could actually give you £6,721 off that vehicle. £7,300 and you've got a deal off that I car. Couldn't, I couldn't go as high as that. I want seven grand off it and you've got a deal. Come down to the dealership, have a chat with us. Wow, he has just offered me £6,700 discount off a new car. That is amazing. And frankly, with a bit of arm twisting, I reckon I could have got him up to seven grand, which is even more massive. So what it does prove is that with a bit of careful research and digging around, don't just accept the first two grand you get off a car. There are better deals to be had out there. The other thing worth taking note of is the fact that the government have only put aside £300 million for this scrappage discount. Once it's gone, it's gone. Right, so if you want to take advantage, best not dilly-dally. Absolutely, chop-chop. Right, time to talk about the website. Now, you may have noticed that our interweb thingy has had a bit of spit and polish, and I have to say, we're really rather proud of it.